Hello everybody, Infernation Joe here and welcome to another ranking video and we are back on tier maker or I am back technically you're just watching me and I have found an anime of 2021 list and personally I think I got a pretty decent list it's the largest one I've seen and the one that doesn't repeat so that helps so I am going to be here ranking this stuff and that's basically it personally i feel like the crunchyroll awards were kind of lackluster because it leaned towards more stuff that i haven't watched so i couldn't really rank it properly so i'm here to rank my own today and i have a pretty good idea of all of these shows so let's start with log horizon and i technically haven't watched it my my cursor just kind of jumped into that category but I have seen the first season. I really want to watch this season, but I need to get to the second season first, and time is always a thing. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me do a quick lightning round. So, Beastar Season 2, I haven't watched. Um, Attack on Titan, haven't watched. Doctor Stone Season 2, haven't watched. I believe this is Moriarty the Patriot, haven't watched. Whatever the world this is, I haven't watched. This is the new Shaman King. I haven't watched that either. Um, shoot, this is XARM, isn't it? Haven't watched that. This is going to be a bit easier because the ones that I haven't watched, I can just immediately put in this category. But the ones that I haven't watched, or the ones that I have watched, even if it's one or two episodes, is still going to be a hard case to make. And half of these, I don't know what they are. The other ones, I just don't know. Okay, now that is Platinum End, I know. Okay, so that's technically everything on the first row that I haven't watched. So that should make things easier. Actually, do I want to... Hmm. No, I think... I think what I'm gonna do, the executive decision, put Log Horizon in the haven't watched because it technically is true and just get rid of the plan to watch one. And I'll just put the plan to watch at the very front. So, now we're here with an actual list. And first up is Kimono Jihen, which I actually have finished. It was actually a pretty good surprise. I just watched it on a whim and I actually enjoyed it a lot. But even with saying that, I think I'm gonna put it in an A, but I think it's gonna be a very, mmm, no, I think, I'm I think I'm gonna put it in B, but it's a very high B. Jujutsu Kaisen, only season 2 technically, because season 1 wasn't in 2021. Even so, I think... I think it's gonna be A tier. Wait, I switched them. Really? Okay, yeah, I think Jujutsu Kaisen's gonna be A tier. It was good, but in a way I can definitely see that it is becoming overrated, which isn't necessarily a problem, but it could be a problem if you don't like it or don't care for stuff being overrated. So, Quintessential Quintuplets Season 2, I do like it more than Season 1. That much I know for a fact. I think I think it's going to go alongside Kimono Jihan at B tier. I, I think that's what it's going to be. And Slime Season 2... Although, it's technically Slime Season 2 Part 1. This is going to be weird because I... I know both seasons, or both parts of Season 2 are on here. But I only have to judge the first part, technically. And the first part was a lot of just build-up. Which isn't bad, but it's just... Actually, I don't even know when the cutoff is. I don't know when Part 1 ends and Part 2 begins because I just watched it all at once. I... I'm gonna, I think it's gonna go C tier. Slime overall is still good in my opinion, but just the build up I just wasn't a big fan of. So let's see here. Nagatoro, I watched like one episode just for Let's Talk Anime, haven't finished it, so it's going C tier. Same with this thing, I think it's called Kai Byoku Ramen or something. Watched one episode, that's, that's it. Uh, what else? Odd Taxi. I watched one episode, haven't haven't continued it yet, so it's in C tier. Same with Detective is Already Dead, Girlfriend Girlfriend, Sunny Boy, 
is there any oh gosh world's end harem is, is on here well i haven't watched it so technically i can go there and we zero can go there both seasons of 86 and i do hold on i think we're almost at the end so i'll make this simple so this is the one with the gorilla thing so that'll be there uh I think I know this one, but I have no idea what it is off the top of my head. I don't recognize the poster, so it's going there. Uh, oh, I guess. Oh, that's right. Both seasons of Mushoku Tensei were in this year. Or last year, technically. Can I just... Can I... Can I make this work once? Uh, can I just put it right beside here? Thank you. At least make things look neater. Uh, is there anything else I can put in the haven't watched? I don't know what this is. Nope. You know, I might just take out the drops here because I'm realizing that I'm not using that at all. And realistically, there hasn't been anything that I've dropped, so I don't know why I've been hesitating on. Um, I don't know what this says. I don't recognize the poster, so it's going in. I haven't watched. Same with Vanitas Descartes. To your eternity. Okay, so here's the rub. Black Clover. Technically, I haven't seen anything of it this year. But since I still have seen it, I think it's fair to rank it. So, let's see here. Actually, where, where is Boku Tachi no Remake? I'm surprised because I know that was last year. Unless it's here and I just don't recognize it from one of these pictures. I don't know. Whatever. So... Wonder Egg Priority. Okay, so I will say to its credit, it did have a good story at the start. But the ending, if you take away the ending, it's it's not bad. I think I think I'll put it alongside Slime Part 1, but that's only because I'm not going to acknowledge the ending at all. Hori Mia actually was pretty good. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to put it so I'm gonna put it in A tier. It was actually a big surprise. Uh, Higgy Hero. It's another one of those ones that you wouldn't want to watch based off of the synopsis, but it was it was okay. Kind of obvious at times, but the obvious story beats aside, I think it'll go B tier. But at the very end, because I prefer quintuplets to it. My Hero, My Hero. I think it's going to go where it should in A tier. I think what I'm gonna do at this point, since I haven't really decided on anything for S tier, is just put everything in A tier and then decide if there's anything in S tier afterwards. So Blue Period, I just finished it last night actually. It was okay. I think the fact of it being art based at first was what drew me in, but the hype of it, in my opinion, just kinda died down. So, I'm blue, B for Blue Period, I guess. And I think Miracle, Miracle was a good surprise how it ended. But if it would have done more with building up stuff before, I might even put it in A tier. But I think a B tier seems fair. Comey? I think Comey's going to go A. I know people had problems with the Netflix translations and stuff like that. But... I didn't really mind it. I mean, sure, it definitely had issues, but just as a show all along, it was actually very good. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I haven't finished Tact OP Destiny. I haven't finished Skate. I've literally only watched one episode of Skate, so they're just gonna go in C tier. Now, I will say, besides this season of Slime and Wonder Egg, everything else in C tier is not judging the whole show, because I haven't seen the whole show. But it doesn't feel right to me to put it in the haven't watched tier because I technically have watched it. So, Slime Season 2 Part 2. Much better than the first part. It's going A tier. Uh, my Senpai is annoying. It, it's a B tier. I, it's, it's the same as like Higi Hero and Quintuplets. You don't, you don't watch it for the story for the most part. You watch it for the characters. And... You know, I'm still, I'm still torn on what I should do with Black Clover. Actually, that makes a lot of sense that Black Clover is here, because it did finish this year, or last year. So I think, I think I'll just put it in C tier, below Wonder Egg, 
because I technically have watched it, but I don't know how the full story... I think Black Clover makes sense to put it in C tier, not because it's a C tier show, but because I have watched Black Clover and what I have watched I liked, at least from what I can remember, but I don't feel right judging the whole entire show just based off of the 50 odd episodes that I have seen. So that leaves Ranking of Kings. So I will say right now, I haven't watched all of Ranking of Kings. Actually, now that I think about it, this is Tokyo Revengers. I have technically seen Tokyo Revengers, so that goes there. Let me see. Um, now you know what? I'm keeping ReZero there because I have seen part one, season one, but not season two. But anyway, back to Ranking of Kings. I watched the first episode yesterday. So you would think off of that, it's just gonna go and see here because I've seen it, but I haven't seen the whole thing. But it's actually quite the opposite. I think it is going to go in a solid A tier. Probably not top A. I think like maybe middle, lower A at the moment. But from what I've seen from the show, from the one episode I've seen, I really like it. It's got a very simplistic art style, but it just is really good. And who knows if it's really keeping up with that pace with later episodes, I might discuss it for Let's Talk Anime. So that leaves the matter of what should go in S tier. Well, hmm. I don't want to just freely put slime in there. I did like season two, part two of slime, but I don't think it deserves it. To be quite honest, I'm tempted to put Ranking of Kings in there, even based off of the one episode, but that's probably just recency bias. So I think... I mean, Horimiya definitely had its issues. It is never going to have a continuation, at least anime form. I think it's going to be Jujutsu Kaisen. Because the second part of it was really good, and realistically, I think the only things from what I've seen that I'll put in S tier are probably Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and maybe a couple of other things. But I'm realizing that this thing doesn't have everything on here. Like, the only thing I'm not sure about is if this is just a throwaway anime down here or if it's Boku Tachi no Remake. I don't think that would get into S tier anyway. But, yeah, it doesn't have everything on this list from last year. But I'm personally fine with that because I got a decent list on here. And if it would have everything, I'd be here for ages. So that is going to be my tier list of 2021 anime, <laughs> at least from what I've watched. Let me know if my opinion is absolutely horrid or 100% spot on. I really like to know what you think and if the posters like this one down here, the ones that I questioned about, if you know where they're from, please let me know because I might have incorrectly placed them. But I'm pretty confident about like 90% of these posters because I've seen them around a lot. But yeah, that is going to be this video. Let me know what you placed in S tier from last year. And I'll see you next time. Momentai.